What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today we only have five days left. Yes, that is right, Dragon Ball Fighters releasing this Friday. Oh, I am super, super pumped, I am super hyped, but I know a lot of people are not as well. Um, I wanted to go over the thoughts of the beta itself, because I know there are definitely people who loved it, people who hated it, people in between, people said this and that, and it just, emotions are everywhere, right? Emotions are everywhere, so... You guys, you guys know I'm hyped for it already, so I'm going to put that hype to the side. Just going to kind of toss it over there for a minute. And we're going to just talk about what was in this beta. What does this mean for the game itself when it comes out? Should you be worried? Should you kind of give them benefit of the doubt? You know, all this kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything, okay? So first off, real quickly, what was in the beta if you happen to have missed it and then you just come onto Twitter or online and you're just like, going on here what happened guys like this was supposed to be a beta and everything so basically there are three parts here there's a tutorial mode which basically showed you how to play the game there was the replay thing which i don't know if you technically count that as something but then there was also the world ranked matches with both casual and ranked matches this meant that we could not actually play with anyone going into a server was it meant nothing literally it's just to see a name on someone's head basically and that's all it really did you were randomly matched up with people around the world however i did want to note one thing that i personally found myself that could be helpful for when the full game releases if you are one who wants to go and do a bunch of online ranked matches or casual matches or anything like that and that is when you select your settings right before you actually start searching for it it asks you for connection and for the you know player power essentially so the players that you get matched up against that the whole player power thing you can put that as much as you want to that might limit you depending on uh you know how many people continue to play the game over time and everything like that but one thing i did notice is that if you just left the connection part at just anything that you wanted then it would definitely always put if more than likely it always put you against matches that were like zero bars or really bad connections and sometimes they weren't that bad but other times you're just like whoa am i watching a power point right now it was just it was really bad sometimes so i found though that if you simply just select it to say one bar or higher then generally you actually found really good connections for some reason when i did it i always found three bars or more i never found one or two so it was always three or four four being the max and everything so i was just like okay maybe that was just coincidence for me but that was the way it was for the beta the entire time for me even during its really bad moments so that's just something for personally to keep in mind and i'll probably mention it again when the game comes out and i do my review on it and everything like that but other than that though that just i kind of want to touch on that real quick so anyway so that's what was in the beta itself um if the servers were down at any time then we were allowed to do these kind of like trial modes where the game would just randomly select three random characters from the beta and you would fight against three random easy characters essentially it was basically a way to try and test out whatever characters you simply happen to have there on the field at the moment or on the stage at the moment in time when it was occurring so it was you know it was we had this in the closed beta as well it was kind of nice to be able to like oh hey you know like i haven't really tried out cell i haven't really tried out freeze or anything now i actually get to try them out real quick and hey maybe i'll actually try to use them sometime in a real match or anything so that was within the beta if you happen to miss it but that's not the big thing that happened so i want to cover two points there's two parts to this now that i want to cover first part's going to be the early access and how that worked okay so when there were less people playing it because obviously in order to get into the early access you had to digitally pre-order it on either the xbox store or the psn store and then the second part is going to be covering the full open beta part. And then I'll also touch a little bit on that extra data they had there as well. So first off, what happened with the early access? Did we have the same problems that we had with the open or vice versa or anything like that? And first off, uh, I, I, from what I saw, because actually I wasn't able to get home right away from when it started, it was kind of an up and down thing. There were times where the server would go out, the servers would go out for maybe like 45 minutes because they were saying they're fixing stuff and then they put them back on and then they were working for a while and then they took them off again. And then I think like after a couple hours, everything for the most part seemed to work pretty well you still had your random disconnect sometimes or maybe you got kicked from a lobby room or something like that but that was expected right we'd expect something like that simple uh that simplicity in a you know an open beta right you know oh wow if you just connect here big deal so that was during the uh early access part and then for the most part it seemed that just you know during the continuation of that first full day when i got up and i was streaming the game i was like okay you know this is actually working pretty well um pretty impressed with the net code i mean it basically felt the same as the open bit or the closed beta there wasn't again much difference though when it came to if that really improved or anything so i was just like okay you know i guess we'll take what we can get though again we'll have to see for what happens when the full game come out then the controversy happened oh and by the way before before i completely move on because since i just completely forgot about that this was all on playstation 4 xbox from what i could tell 
it was definitely kind of hit and miss. I did see some people saying that they were actually getting into some good matches during the early access parts of it. Um, others saying that they couldn't. It was taking like half an hour to get into a match and everything like that, which really does suck. So I'm not really sure on the reasons for that or anything. So I'm sorry if that did happen to any of you Xbox players who were on the early access part of it. So, and then they opened the floodgates. They said, here you go, world. Have at it. Open beta. Everyone go nuts. And... Wow, yeah, no, every, everything did go nuts. Servers were not working at all. People were trying to get into lobbies. People were getting into lobbies. People were trying to get into matches. And I saw people going for like, and I waited in that lobby for an hour. And this kept searching and searching and searching and searching. And it was, it was just going on like that for, for a long time. And it's really unfortunate that the first day of that of the beta had to be like that. Because I don't I don't know if this is going to be something where those things of, you know, like, well, thanks to this, uh, you know, horrible situation that it was in for the first day it's gonna be better in the long run i don't know what you know if that really truly is the case you know they keep you know bandai keeps putting out tweets about how they're working endlessly you know around the clock to make sure that all platforms have everything available from the moment the game releases which is only in five days so um obviously the you know the beta that we see this is what the game is going to look like it's going to have a feel and everything like that so in terms of the servers and everything hopefully there's something on their side that you are able to they are able to fix right before you know obviously right before we're about to get our hands on the full version of the game and everything like that because i know a lot of people have also have canceled their pre-orders they are trashing the game down and everything so I, I it's really it really is unfortunate that that had to happen especially on the xbox side i don't know if that has to do with japanese developers and microsoft not doing too well or anything like that i've seen it with past games before where you know they either just completely ignore the xbox or it's like okay we'll have it on the xbox we're gonna deal with the more favorite one you know we're gonna make sure the ps4 online stuff works or any of this kind of stuff and then eventually we'll do this type of thing i'm not saying i'm not saying that our system did that I'm not saying they did it at all they've had past games on the xbox consoles you know 360 in the one they've had uh persona for persona uh fighter arena they've had the blaze blue games and everything like that so i'm not saying that they did this with fighters i'm just saying that might have been some somehow down the road you know something connected and everything like that it's really hard to say at this point i, I like i said i honestly don't know i don't have the ins or anything like that but um after the first i'd say 14 maybe 17 hours or so like that at least on PS4, it started to pick up. I was able to find some pretty good matches going on and on, you know, as, if I was making my settings correctly and everything like that. But I didn't know that Xbox pretty much had no luck. Even on the extra day, that little extra day that we had for that 24 hours, PS4, seen, I didn't see any hiccups with the PS4 for the most part. Xbox didn't even have the online, though. They just simply gave you guys a trial mode the entire, tw entire 24 hours or something like that. So... I'm, I'm not sure what the reason is. I don't know if that it was on Microsoft's side for, you know, because I do know for a fact that when it comes, this is with any game, this isn't just any kind of Japanese game or anything like that, but when a patch goes through or something goes through, uh, usually you have to okay it by Microsoft and by Sony. So I'm not sure if maybe during the original open beta, they had fi fixed whatever on their side, at least for this, you know, the PlayStation 4, but then with Xbox, maybe they couldn't really figure it out without having to do some kind of actual update to the game. I'm just taking a wild guess here. That could have been the case. I'm, again, I'm just not really sure. And it's, again, really a shame that this had to happen because if you looked past, if you actually just shoved aside all the netcode stuff and all of the, you know, errors and everything like that, the game is not only beautiful, it plays well, it's really fun, and it's just, it's just a blast to play. I mean, just... This is going back to the Budokai days, and I know this isn't going to be for everyone. Obviously, I know that if you prefer more 3D arena fighters or you don't even like fighting games, that's totally okay. You know, I, though if you don't like fighting games, I don't know why you might be particularly watching this video. So, but um, anyway, it was you know it's okay to not like these games, but overall, you you can see usually when someone has been able to jump into a few matches and they've been able to just you know not have to deal with any of the connections issues and everything. For the most part, a lot of people enjoy the game. They said it's fun maybe it's not the best or anything but it is a fun it was a fun time it was a fun beta to play when it worked so again uh, it's just it's unfortunate that this had to happen by this point i feel like i'm repeating myself because it's like you know again a beta is limited you're supposed to show off what you want to show off and you want to be able to test things as well and it's it makes me wonder it truly does make me wonder will the game be okay by the time it launches i want to say yes i want to have faith in arc system they are a great developer they've made great games in the past and they've worked in everything and you know maybe they're just caught off guard by the fact that you're going from something small like blaze blue and guilty year and stuff to something as big as dragon bomb 
mean, let's face it, Guilty Gear and Blast Blue does not have the player base that a Dragon Ball themed game is going to have. So maybe that's the case. I'm not really sure. Again, um, we'll have to see. Overall, I had a blast with the beta when it was working. I understood, though, at the same time, why people got frustrated, why people would be like, man, you just made me pre-order this game, which, in you know, it's not a pre-order of go drop $5 at a GameStop or something like that. This is buy the full game and then you get early access to it and you're expecting this to work at least somewhat and then you get into the early access and especially on the Xbox, you can't even play it and you're just like, I just spent money on something that's not even gonna work and it's because the beta is supposed to just be, you know, dealing with the little bugs and everything, not actually trying to make it work for like for the first time at least. So I can understand why people are upset. So what I'm gonna say right now, guys, is because I can never make the decision for you to buy a game and I don't you know, I can always tell you that I'd like it. Maybe you should go out and try it out if you want. I would say if you've already canceled your pre-order and you're gonna wait on something, or you you just, you know, if you're maybe kind of iffy in there about it. Wait until the game comes out, wait for some reviews, give it like a week or something like that, because the game's not going anywhere. Give it about a week or so, let us show you that it is working, you know, streams, YouTube videos, the whole nine yards. Let us show you if it's working or not, and if it is and it looks fun, then go out and buy it. If it is not working and the servers are down, but you're okay with maybe just like single player and stuff, or you don't even care about online ranked matches, then maybe it is worth at least a rent in your for your money, or it is worth a buy on a sale or something like that, or a used version. Because, you know, there's always going to be used versions like a week after the game comes out or anything like that. If, you know, if you're still just like, no, 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 I'm done. The beta just killed it for me. I'm not going to do it. That's perfectly okay. That That is your choice. You know, I wish you, uh, maybe you'll come back in five months or something like that if it hasn't totally killed it for you or if it has maybe the next one that comes out you'll be like okay you know what i'm gonna knock i'm not gonna pre-order this time i'm gonna wait for this to open beta itself and i'm gonna try it out and we're gonna see what's happened so um again guys overall i had a blast of the beta when it was working like i stated before unfortunately it wasn't it definitely had its down moments a lot and uh we'll just got to see when it pops up here on friday midnight uh pacific standard time that's when the full game releases i can't wait i'm gonna be streaming that thing all weekend recording the whole nine yards i'm super pumped i'm super excited let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as always guys are you gonna be picking up the game are you just gonna say mm, maybe i'm gonna put it off on hold for right now i'm gonna get something else or nope completely done let me know your reasons. Let's keep it civil. Let's keep it civil here. I always try to do that. So keep it civil in the comments. You know, whether it's Xbox on PC or PS4, let's 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 see how this goes. So I mean, I think in the end, we all want it to succeed, right? We, no one wants a game to fail unless you absolutely really hate it for some reason. And that's just about any game, not just fires. But I think we all want it to succeed. So I'm hoping, here's hoping that it is uh, a good launch and everything works out well. And I personally can't wait. I only have the base version of the game, no DLC or, or you know, season pass or anything like that. So I'm going to wait to see what happens. We're going to have to see. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for enjoying the video. I uh, hope, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you all in the next one.